Hello, staff. On behalf of the Rawls ISD Board of Education and the other administrators, I want to welcome you to this much different employee appreciation ceremony. We wanted to take time to make sure that these individuals were recognized for their milestones and a few special rewards. At this time, I want to recognize the Rawls ISD Board of Trustees. President Ani Sellers, Vice President Jerry Diaz, Secretary Virginia Torres, Board Members Ed Logan, Angie Cervantes, and Mateo Cavazos. Also, a special thanks to Trippi Cadell, who recently resigned, but served the Board of Trustees for several years. She will be missed. Because we couldn't get together and enjoy a nice meal, you will be receiving a gift card in the mail to the Jack Rabbit Grill. Please enjoy. Also, you will receive one of these fashionable face masks. I sure hope you look as good at it as Mr. Salazar. Hello, Jack Rabbit family. It is my honor to recognize this year's Rawls Elementary Teacher of the Year, Miss Jennifer Martin. I'm Emily Prita, and I had Ms. Martin for homeroom and fifth grade math. Ms. Martin made learning fun, and I learned a lot. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Jennifer Martin is currently the fourth and fifth grade math teacher. The following is some of what her co-workers had to say about her. She was willing to take on a difficult role during hard circumstances. She's calm, sweet, and friendly. I am proud to have a co-worker who puts students first. Miss Martin truly enjoys teaching and wants her students to learn. She disciplines in a kind way. Hi, Miss Martin. Just wanted to congratulate you for being named the Teacher of the Year for Rawls Elementary. Uh, you most certainly deserve this. It has been a difficult year. Working alongside you has made it pleasurable through all the laughter and craziness that we get to experience uh, alongside you. I wish you the best. Uh, look forward to next year. Jennifer's co-workers also shared. Miss Martin builds relationships with her students, showing that she cares about them and their lives. She stepped up when the kids needed her. Jennifer took on the enormous responsibility of teaching two grade levels and did a great job. Jennifer works incredibly hard for her students. She is knowledgeable about her content, never stops learning new ways to present material, and encourages learning. She stepped up and made a hard situation into a great one. Every time I see Miss Martin, she has a smile on her face. She is an awesome teacher. We're proud of you. Congratulations, Miss Martin. Hey, I just wanted to say congratulations to Ms. Martin for being selected as the Teacher of the Year. It is absolutely well-deserved. You stepped in when we needed someone and took on a lot and did a great job doing it. And we really appreciate the hard work that you put in for the fourth and fifth graders this year. Thank you. A few more awesome descriptions of Ms. Martin. She went above and beyond during this difficult year tackling two grade levels despite the most difficult odds and did it with grace. Miss Martin is a hard-working teacher. She loves her students and has formed great relationships with them. I love Miss Martin because in her class it's really fun and on our birthday she gives us cupcakes. And in her class it's easy to understand what she's trying to teach us and she really likes to get to know us. I miss you Miss Martin and I will miss you next year too. Congratulations to Miss Martin for being Teacher of the Year at the elementary this year. You worked so hard with those fourth and fifth grade students trying to get them where they needed to be by the end of the year. And, um, and it's very evident that you care for every one of your students and you just went above and beyond this year helping them and guiding them. So again, congratulations. Hi, Miss Martin. Um, congr congratulations on the teacher of the year award me and the other students are proud 
for having you not one but for two years and I just wish you good luck and I was just honored to have you in my honor to be in your class. We'll miss you next year. Miss Jennifer Martin stepped in when the campus needed her and has done a tremendous job for Rawls ISD. Congratulations, Jennifer. We love and appreciate you. I'm willing to bet that each of you can look back and think of that one teacher who made a lasting impression on not only your education, but your life as a whole. The teacher who pushed you to do your best and never accepted anything less. The teacher that would do whatever it took to make sure you succeeded. Each year at Rawls Middle School, the faculty votes on a teacher that, that does this for students. This year, the honor is given to a teacher who exemplifies this model the model teacher in the classroom and is a wonderful colleague to all who have the pleasure to work with her. This is a teacher that goes above and beyond for students and co-workers and never expects anything in return. It is my pleasure to announce that Holly Rogers is the Rawls Middle School Teacher of the Year. I asked each of your, your colleagues to describe you in one word and this is what they said. This song is for those who inspire us today. Always lend a helping hand to help show us the way. This song is for those who see their students through the tough times in their lives. For that, we say thank you. You have made a difference, you have shaped our minds, you have changed the world one child at a time. adjustments to this video. And the last thing we need is for my reputation to overshadow the recognition we are after today. After all, I am a two-time Rawls High School Teacher of the Year, the District Teacher of the Year, Region 17 Teacher of the Year, and most recently, the Region 17 High School Principal of the Year. As mentioned before, keeping my identity a mystery is of utmost importance, especially after making this next statement. Congratulations to the 2020 Rolls High School Teacher of the Year, our Spanish teacher, Mr. Jaime Martinez. They say you can't win, Toady, two years in a row, so I guess that's why I didn't win it. No sé cómo en la tierra, señor Martinez tiene profesor del año. Still don't see how Martinez won it. Well, there's one thing that really sticks out to me, and that is he doesn't try. Um, and I think that's why 
Our students really enjoy his class. Faculty sure doesn't like the guy. Hate to see him win. Solo vote el porque el tiene niños que traen comida para la clase el 5 de mayo y 16 de septiembre y yo como gratis. Kids don't even like him. Why do I think Mr. Martinez deserves Teacher of the Year? Because you build genuine relationships with the kids. Kids just love talking about his class. They know that he truly cares about them and he truly cares about their success as a student um, in Rawls. He doesn't try to be the best teacher. He just tries to be a good teacher. He's also really good about getting back to the community um, through NHS and through SUCO. Um, we brought our kids to the city square where they decorated the city square. They wrapped lights around trees. So um, involved with all the kids. Um, and every time you see him, he's, he, he appears to be having a, a good day, a great day. So uh, that's just something to, that he brings to the table every single day. They will forever remember that. They have a friend in you. He genuinely wants to know them. He wants to know what they like, what they dislike, what they do outside of school. To stand out in the hallway and greet everybody as they come by. And and with his personality that kind of goes with it, he just naturally, just naturally has good classes. He builds relationships with the kids. Um, he took a group of students to Walmart where they bought gifts for kids that were in need. And then they went to city council where um, <clears throat> they wrapped the gifts for those students and so I think it's just really cool when we have a faculty member and we have a teacher who not only gives back to the school but also gives back to the community. And again, it's not in the intent of being the teacher of the year, but it's more of just being a good teacher for them. Just somebody that they can go to and be like, hey, it's fun learning Spanish. It's fun going to this class. It's fun coming to school today because of this. Señor Martínez, como se dice, es definitivamente un mejor maestro que otras profesoras del año. Entrenador Phillips. I mean, he must have been involved in this voting process or something like that. But, hey, that's the way life is sometimes. You know, it is what it is. Lawson's hermano mayor. Hey, Martínez, uh, this is Lawson uh, 1.0. I can't think of a better person to receive Teacher of the Year than you. Uh, you build great relationships with students. Uh, you hold kids accountable. Um, and they leave your classroom a better person than whenever they entered. E. Senora Wilson. Oh, Martinez. I remember your first year at Rawls. The wide-eyed optimism, your willingness to learn from a veteran teacher such as myself. You became my protege, my young Padawan. And that same year you watched in awe as I obtained the highest honor of Teacher of the Year. And now that honor has been passed along to another member of the JV squad, my homie. Thank you for keeping this out of Walker's grasp for yet another year. I really hate that once I left Rawls, you hit your stride and got voted Teacher of the Year, but I still have to say I'm very proud of you. But in all honesty, you really are an amazing teacher and uh, an amazing person. And I love calling you my friend. Pero el consigue los niños en tu asmado por aprender español. Lo hace divertido y emocionante. Quiero dice, mire, a mí me tiene hablando español. So I know this year's Teacher of the Year Award went to Mr. Martinez, and as much as I hate to see him win, and I can't lie, I voted for him. Um, I don't know how to describe how good Mr. Martinez is in the foreign language department, but I know a commercial that describes the kids' transition from the first day of Spanish to the last day of Spanish. So here's that video. Welcome to learning Spanish in the car. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, this is good. Vámonos. 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 Gracias. 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 Trece horas en el carro sin parar y no traes música. Mira, entra y cómprame unas papitas. Congratulations on a well-deserved award. It's just been a pleasure to watch and learn from.
Well, congrats, Martinez. Congratulations, Martinez. Felicidad, Senor Martinez. Está bien merecido. So congratulations. Bolzowski wants to recognize and remember the contributions made by a great man. Walt Gillen gave the district stability that it needed for many, many years. The words that we use to describe Walt and what he meant to the district are integrity, professionalism, character, and dedication. The inscription on the plaque reads as follows. Walt D. Gillen Humanitarian Award, established spring 2000, honoring integrity, professionalism, character, and dedication to the Rawls Independent School District, a friend, a colleague, and a mentor to all. Previous winners of this very special award are Charlie Burke, Fossil Donovan, Sarah Wood, Andy Cervantes, Monica Gonzalez, Billy Anderson, Billy V, Bruce Harris, Joe Castro, Macy Cavazos, Maria Gamble, Jill Calderon, Minnie Rivera, Bobby Feaster, Chris Wade, Kathleen Sedgwick, Debbie Sullivan, Amy Feaster, and Miguel Salazar. At this time, I want to kick it over to Mr. Salazar to introduce this year's recipient of the Walt Gillen. Oh, hey, sorry about that. You guys caught me at a bad time. Uh, you got, call this the social distancing mask, but I, I call this clean off the trophy mask. There's so much dust on these trophies. Uh, speaking of space for trophies, I'm getting the Walt Gillen Humanitarian Award from last year. So I don't know if I should go ahead and start up here, put it down here, just get a whole new bookshelf. I, we'll get to that later. You guys don't worry about that. So um, I was so excited because they told me I was going to get to present this year's award. Um, and I was going to get to do a speech. I, I don't get to do a speech. Uh, they, they promised me that I was going to get to do a speech, but I guess I don't. Whatever. <laughs> So I don't get to do a speech for winning the Walt Gillen Humanitarian Award last year, uh, but I do get to present it this year. So the Walt Gillen Humanitarian Award is the most prestigious award that we give here at Rawls ISD. Uh, it's named after a business manager that worked for us for many years. Uh, it's actually the father of Joe Calderon, uh, a man of high integrity. And again, it's one of the most prestigious awards we give. We've been doing it for, this is going to be the 20th year, so this is the last year that we're going to have it. Um, and Mr. Wade named off a couple of names um, from the past uh, 20 years, uh, 19 years. I've actually been here 16 years. Uh, Mr. Wade had mentioned earlier I was getting my 15-year plaque, whatever. I've already got that. Thing. This is 16 for me, so I just wanted to clarify before I move on because I've been here 16 years. Mr. Wade, he's got one year less than me. But um, anyways, one of the names on that list is uh, Jill Calderon and Jill. Um, I, I think very highly of Jill. She's been a staple in this community and in this um, district for, for many years. And she actually won it a, a couple of years ago. So um, without further ado, I want to bring Jill up here because she's actually going to announce the winner of this year's Walt Gillen Humanitarian Award. Hi there. And the 2019-2020 winner of the Walt Gillen Award is Shelby Reagan. Um, very proud of you, honey, and your papa would be very proud of you also. So again, our winner, um, very happy for Shelby. Um, I actually read in the rules, I'm not sure if I can win it two years in a row. I'm still looking into that. If I can, I'll, I'll have to make another video. You guys don't worry, I'll make another one. So Shelby, um, again, a Rawls alumni, very excited that, that they moved back to town um, and that we get to have a Rawls alumni come back to, to both inspire and, uh, and push our kids to be the best. And Shelby is great at doing that. I'm so excited that uh, they came back and that Shelby is, is not only doing a bang up job in the classroom as a teacher, but I'm so excited that she's able to inspire and touch more kids because she, she we, we conned her into being a, an assistant softball coach for us. So we're very glad to have her. So again, uh, the award goes to Shelby Reagan. That's it. No more awards. She's the last name on the list, and what a perfect uh, name to add to the list. So, Shelby, congratulations. Very proud of you. It is now time for the recognition of staff service. With five years of service, we have Andrea Champion, Jaime Martinez, and Casey Mayo. With 10 years of service, we have Monica Faber, 
and Arturo Zuniga. With 15 years of service, Cynthia Kahudik, Chris Wade, and Miguel Salazar. 20 years, Andrew Wood and Abby Ramirez. 30 years, Bobby Casillas, Brenda King, and Lydia Mendez. And with 45 years of service, Judy Crowley. Thank you so much for your dedication to this community and the students of Rawls ISD. Thank you. It has been an honor to serve Rawls ISD for the last 15 years. My family has been blessed beyond measure during this time. Rawls has provided a wonderful community and town to raise our family, and I wouldn't trade our time here for anything. We're eager to begin our new journey. Saying goodbye has never been more difficult. The friendships that we have made have had a tremendous impact, not, a, not only on us, but our kids as well. We will forever be Jackrabbits. Rawls ISD is an amazing district with a bright future. The board, administrators, staff, and students are as great as you will find, and I wish you nothing but the best. Please continue to work hard, have fun, and love kids. God bless each and every one of you in the community of Ross. Thank you.